Hey everybody, I'm Jason Kemmerer. I'm one of the consulting sales engineers here at Forcepoint, and I'm going to show a deep dive on uh, you know why customers believe in our uh, data loss prevention efficacy and accuracy. And currently on the screen, you're going to see a plethora of detection capabilities. Um, starting at the bottom, we have the typical keywords, regexes, and file types that we support, uh, which are pretty massive in our 1500 classifier catalog. So regardless of what intellectual property or compliance or regulation that you may have, it's really easy to find a lot of our stuff out of the box. Um, secondly, we actually integrate with any third party labeling or classification solution, but I really want to hit on uh, Microsoft Information Protection and Bolden James by Help Systems because we actually offer automatic classification with those solutions. And how are we doing that? Um, we're simply borrowing those labeling schemas and we're actually able to apply our robust inspection engines um, and then be able to apply those labels to either never seen before files or even previously labeled files and alter their tags essentially and then apply DLP um, whenever those files are picked up and moved once again. And at the very top, we have our more advanced classifiers, nat natural language processing scripts, which I'll show some examples in just a second. Um, some ideas of machine learning, which is form contextual analysis. And last but not least, our uh, precise ID fingerprinting, which is for unstructured and structured data. So customers bring in their various you know, examples of source code, um, secret sauce, um, top secret files, as well as any um, unique uh, database information that has their most critical customer records um, that we're able to protect as well with uh, the most supreme accuracy. So let's see how some of these detection capabilities uh, look in practice, right? So some of our content classifiers that I mentioned, the patterns and phrases, um, you can see a large plethora of different types of classifiers. And it's very easy for us to filter by those either user-defined or predefined classifiers right out of the box. And over here, we have the classifier types. Um, so all the various scripting engines, for, for example, uh, you know, PCI information or even um, password information that may or may not have the proper regex in order to support that alone, we can get pretty expansive with the proximity and the different types of uh, possible uh, parameters that that information may need to be identified with. So moving over to file labeling integration. Uh, Pretty simple. We can, like I said before, we can integrate with pretty much anyone. Uh, but some examples, we're able to import bold in James labels or even MIP labels. It's just a few simple steps, uh, just by importing that schema, and we can then apply DLP policies to specific tags such as confidential or even internal. And then lastly, the machine learning capabilities. Um, we have some samples in here for medical forms. So being able to provide uh, negative samples such as empty templates. That's their sole purpose is to capture sensitive data. Um, we can then take the opposite, so completed forms, ones that do have proper customer information that you, either your claims or billing teams have seized. Um, we can actually train those as positive examples. And the key differentiator here is the fact that by following this um, tactic, we can uh, offer that identification and reduce the number of false positives to not interrupt their business process and we no longer need to supply that user or users with their exceptions just for sending uh you know medical forms out and last but not least we have our precise id fingerprinting uh, we have the file and the database but i'm really going to show you some examples on database right so um some examples of what a finance fingerprint would look like would be um, a, a user's unique identifier or their account number alongside things like their first and last name, maybe their data birth or any other additional validators. Um, same follow suits for utilities and healthcare, which would be medical record numbers, for example, um, and possibly even patent IDs um, that we can fingerprint and protect as well. If you want to see more information on Forcepoint DLP, uh, just contact us at forcepoint.com for a deep dive one-on-one -on -one demonstration. Thanks.